welcome to Zambia. I am right on the border to Mozambique. The Luangi River is just here on the other side and I want to take you to visit the loveliest couple ever. For so long I've been trying to get a date with these people and now it finally, finally happened. Knock, Hello. knock, knock! Let's see who's in there. Ta Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am so good! Oh my god! <laughs> For those of you who've been following me from the beginning, you know this couple very well. This is Charlotte. This is David. Hello! Hello. And we are inside a monster truck. So the story is that we met up in Morocco. I think already within the first week of my time in Morocco. Did you enter Morocco a week before me? Yes. And then winding wheels came a week later and then the borders were closed. So what on earth are you guys doing? Okay, so this is our <laughs> truck. It's a Mercedes, Mercedes Atigo. Originally it was a German troop carrier, you know, with the, with the green canvas back. And we had it converted. We had the chassis stretched and the box purpose built for us in, in the UK. The truck was around 12 years old when we bought it and it had done 25,000 kilometers so it's brand new because it's old it's not as computerized and it doesn't need it's not going to break down with computer problems perfect for africa exactly yeah. exactly yeah. and you guys sold everything you have to live in this or pretty much yeah yes pretty much so this is um, home now gave up yeah. work gave up work wow. and, and this has been it since the middle of 2020 we, we moved in so here, huh. here we are two and a half years later still living in the truck still loving it before we just talk more about the truck can we just go around and see honey's boyfriend here on the back yeah, yeah. <laughs> here she is you know she's prettied up here to meet him again because what do you have there the honda 250 exactly the same as yours Henry. exactly the same look, look at that so this is my main means of travel and here is one similar just sitting like a tiny bike on the back of this <laughs> so what year are we talking the year of manufacturer is 2008, 2008. 2008. it's 4.2 liter turbo 13.5 yeah. tons for the lady. <laughs> what 13.5 tons and how much fuel goes into oh, a bad very... boy like this uh, <laughs> the tank's about 400 liters <laughs> And it, it will get about 2.2 kilometers to the liter. So, <laughs> yeah. Fuel is a, yeah. And so, Angola, you guys. Angola was good. I was Angola just going to say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Charlotte and David went to Angola and inspired me to go there. And uh, it's just really funny to talk about the fuel economy and our, yeah, oh, similar experiences was there. So but, yeah, the fuel part was good. Like, how many miles have you done or kilometers We've done at the moment? about 70,000 kilometers in the last two years. Quite exactly the same as me. Yeah. So you ca you came down Europe to Morocco. Yeah. Then you shipped to... We shipped to Senegal because Mauritania was closed. And then through Senegal, the Gambia... And Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Conakry wasn't open. Yeah. So we went back to Gambia and left the truck in storage. And then we flew back to Europe for a couple of months. Waiting for maybe a borders to yeah, open? Yeah, hoping, hoping them some borders would open by the time we come back. Okay. Um, and they didn't. So we shipped again. So we shipped from Dakar again to Malva, Spain, Namibia. Namibia. And then we okay. go north again. So from Namibia, Angola? Yeah, Namibia, Angola, the DRC. <sighs> and then, <laughs> yeah, it turned around and came back down to South Africa, Botswana, uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. And Zambia, and from here you go to uh, Malawi. Malawi. Our visas came through today. Yay! Yeah. Then north, north. Yeah. North. Okay. And then hopefully we'll be able to get on the ferry in Sudan, across to Saudi Arabia. Which is really cool because then there's a chance that we might meet, we up, might meet again up again on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty cool. What do you call it? An awning or an awning? We have sides for it, a front for it, and there's, a, there's even a skirt that goes along uh, the back. So okay. it's, a, it's a complete room. Um, so you yeah. can also use it like in bad weather and oh, rainy yeah. weather yeah. and yeah. in the cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then okay, we that's get, cool. We have heaters that we've can got, go in. Oh, wow. There's a, a frame. The, these two poles we have here are just temporary because they're easy, but right. we have a full frame. And, and then you have all kinds of boxes here. Like what are in yeah. all those things? Just our dirty laundry. Dirty laundry <laughs> in there. Okay. And in here, we have, <laughs> this is our boot area. Yeah. An area that goes right the way through the full length of the truck okay and if you just turn to your left a little yeah. bit there's storage boxes there's 14 storage boxes i think oh real and you have fire extinguishers, fire extinguishers there. there yeah and what is this 
all this? this is, oh, this is um, this is a water boiler. Okay. And this is the control panel for the generator. So we have a okay, smart wow. generator that works out if our four lithium iron batteries are getting low, it will just turn on automatically and top them up. And these are to put under the wheels or? Yeah, well, we have some hydraulic rams. We can use those for balancing the truck if it's on, if we're not part level. Okay. Or we can use them to change the tires and li literally lift, lift the truck off the floor. Oh. Or if we're stuck in mode or yeah. It's just anything. Okay. okay. The tail lift, the tail lift would the, also, that would this one here. Yeah, yeah, that one literally. That's lift hydraulic, the truck. And, yeah. and that comes down. So you can use that to actually get you out of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously, the most important part is this one oh, there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was the first extra item we had put on. <laughs> so two extra tires. Yes. Have you had to use them? Many times. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh. We rotated We've, a couple of times yeah. as well. Okay. Um, We've so, worked yeah. out that Charlotte and I have, have worked out a way we can change them together. But it's heavy work. Fastest in 20 minutes, we've been able to yeah. do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Respect. We have our nice little gadget. This is for oh. inflating, deflating the tyres. So, Which you do quite a bit, or? Yeah, yeah. If we're in heavy sand or on rough terrain, we'll let out the air, out the tyres, give a better spread of. Of the tire and that better traction more, yeah, better and traction. yeah yeah and a bit more gentle on the truck when yeah. you're driving on really bad roads so you you have one for each wheels yeah. this opens this is our smart generator oh wow so that's a neat little unit for kva it gets used very infrequently there's four solar panels oh, on the roof okay that tops us up most days and um, obviously okay. in africa so I'll just leave yeah there. so lots of sun yeah and in here this little box. Oh, how neat! This is our barbecue. <gasps> barbecue. Are we going to use that tonight? Yes. And that just pulls out and plugs into the gas here. Because you have gas that have goes gas. to your kitchen yeah, and your gas. and the hot water. Can we see that ladder? How that works? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Pulls up. Lock it away. Finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so damn smart. Yeah. We have. Our gas uh, bottles and the water filters and the water these. filters yeah. and here not that in Africa no we can't use it but this we can in some European fuel stations just go in and fill up the, the tank of gas. Oh, okay. And, and is this the company that built the truck? It is indeed. Yeah. Yeah. UK yeah. based in Doncaster, South Yorkshire. Okay. Wow. Um, so they actually made this on your specifications. Yeah. Basically. Wow. Yeah. And then you have a ladder yeah. up there. We have ladders up to the roof and we have roof boxes and those we store various clothes, store a mask, yeah, my riding gear, riding gear. winter oh. clothes, winter, winter clothes. clothes. And why are these gaffered up? <laughs> what happened? It what did you me. It wasn't it, me. It's just uh, <laughs> damage. If you look at the side of the truck, you'll see all the scratches on the truck. Yeah, so you've definitely been yeah. through some African bushing. Eh? Yeah, and, and this, we had it polished three weeks ago. It's so when all the scratches taken out of it. And this is three, like wow. four weeks now. It's back to. It definitely yeah, looks yeah. different than when I yeah, met you in, yeah. in does, Morocco, that's for it's sure. Not, it's not a toy, it's a water <laughs> Yes. We have this fitted in South Africa, Stone Guard. We get a lot of stones thrown up um, from okay. other trucks. So we have that fitted, that just hopefully will save us a, a windscreen one day. Yeah, probably. Eh? And you have a little dash cam there, I think. A little dash cam yeah. there. Yeah. Running down this side. What's the. Air filter. Whoa, <laughs> quite the air filter, eh? And then here is my tool locker. Uh, tools, okay. Tools, um, Dream to have such a big yeah, toolbox. Yeah, yeah. And then here we've got an outdoor shower. Oh, so how cool. Here we've got a unit, we just plug it in. Yeah. And then, yeah. That's amazing. So I'll just show you this. My tool. The, the dream box. Okay, let's, let's see. Nice. Yeah. Um, two of the best things we ever bought was this oh, impact what? wrench. Uh, to the to the wheels. For the wheels, yeah. yeah. Wow, of it course. It just saves a heck of a lot. Can of I just yeah, yeah. lift that door? <laughs> okay, uh, that is a badass tool. And then just for wow. because we're driving through the African bush, as you know, we bought this. Yeah, that's smart. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so we've got a nice little. I've had a few situations where that would have been nice to yeah, have. Yeah. It's been very <laughs> useful. Yeah. I mean, recently we had, um, so that was in, out on the coast of Mozambique where the map said there was a road 
and we followed the track and they just disappeared into a little village and a couple of the men were just like yeah yeah you're fine we'll get you through and they cut branches down and but they were on the top of the of the truck with machetes and just hacking away or just like to get us through and and then here we've got the inlet for our power so if we're on a campsite we can hook up to mains power on the roof we have four solar panels two are directly above us here they open up this way oh really so then we've got a seating area on the roof which oh. is great and the, back, the front two they open up this way and that becomes a rooftop tent so we've got space for visitors if they if we need that is so, so cool just, do you yeah. sleep in the rooftop tent uh there? yeah we have done not yeah. not so often okay uh, but i won't show you in there that's our toilet <laughs> is it okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> our toilet on the back we have some sand tracks we have four sand tracks in case we get stuck in mud or sand ha have you had to use them since we've had them no okay but, um but before you had them you yeah, you needed yeah. them yeah <laughs> isn't that just we typical got stuck up in morocco yeah, we... I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was at um, Rose was de Sable, the... yeah, at Ali's it. place. That's yeah. It. So Charlotte and David are stuck in the sand. Keep going, keep going. camera oh as well yeah okay um and there's actually a microphone on that so okay. we use it for for getting into tight spots Charlotte will normally talk to me i can hear in the cab yeah um and then we we can work out this one is the wow is it good mm. yeah wow now we get a better look at honey's yeah. boyfriend <laughs> Let's go into the, what do we call them? The private quarters? Yeah. So here is the lounge area. Indeed. Indeed. With fashionable yeah. cushions. Yeah. Looks um, very, very water comfy. Tank, water tank, fresh water tank is underneath the sofa. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and there's a little fan unit here uh, okay. that will give hot air. Okay. So this a little bit of a boost uh, when it's cold. You have some shelving, lots of yeah, books. Yeah, lots of books. A little yeah. telly over here. Yeah, television. Wow. Uh, we've actually got two TVs. We've got one um, at the, in the bed as well. Oh, let's have a look. So this is the bedroom. Yeah. Wow. And then obviously from the bed that's where we've got an access to the roof. Oh, so we have cool. a, a little ladder and, and a, actually a plate, I want to say, a, um, a board. And then the ladder goes on that and, and we can climb straight up. Then our bathroom. Oh, can we turn on? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. What? So, well, Luxury is this. <laughs> so the middle is a shower? Yes, middle is a shower. Oh, and look at this. There is an overhead shower and there's a, a handheld shower. Toilet. Yeah. But I guess it's when you're, like now storage. you're in a campground, so you would use the facilities use it, here. Yeah, we use right. facilities here. Yeah. Um, and then you have a beautiful kitchen. Yeah. Or a uh, gas stove? So two, yeah, two gas cookers. And Will you just look at Charlotte's homemade bread? <laughs> Yeah. So nice. um, then we have a little gas oven. All our handles are marine, um, so extra strong, so nothing can open up in, when we are on rough roads. And, all. and we really haven't had any problems. Nothing wow. has broken, nothing has come loose. Impressive. I, well, I shouldn't say nothing has come loose. Every so often there's a screw that right. just works itself loose somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fridge and then double freezer unit. Oh, wow. Bit of an investment. They're not yeah. particularly Ooh, cheap. Look at that. So oh, cool. Um, we have um, we have a water filter. We had and we didn't have that fitted straight off when the truck was built. Um, they had a different system and they just took up a lot of space. So for us, the cupboard space was more important than the water filter. But we have had this fitted in Namibia. Okay. And really the, the filter is no bigger than a, a water bottle. What is all this? Up right, so up here, this tells us how much water we have. This is the little fan heater down here. Then that is the water pump. Okay. So we switch that off when we drive. Yeah. And that is an outside light. Okay. 
This is the aircon. And then the and radio? Then or there's what? a radio, yeah. And then you have all kinds of storage solutions yeah, everywhere. So got, let's keep the lights on, yeah. on, yeah. So they're a bit messy, but... No. Fire blanket. Fire blanket. We've got another fire extinguisher under the sink. Yeah. We've and the got, remote is for... Uh, the remote is for the aircon. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we've got another button up here that switches the radio on or off. Wow. And then you even have loudspeakers. You yeah, have speakers. more nice lights in there. Yeah. They have wow. touch lights, so they're, they're pretty cool. Um, so you just touch once oh. and then twice oh. and then off. And even here, there's lots of drawers for the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. we got... Um, wow. Yeah, that is lots so... Of, but, I mean, the one with, for the glasses, that is just... And oh. we, we simply, we have not had what? anything break at all. So that has, to, yeah, that's just done. Ikea. Exactly. Is that for clothes storage? Yeah, so or? this is all clothes. Oh, wow. It really is a home. It is a home. It's just yeah. it's living, like a little studio flat. It really. It's just so amazing. And yeah, there's more. <gasps> more storage room. More storage. Fantastic. And then extra storage in extra here as well. in there, yeah. Wow, a little bit of storage right here. Another fan. Yes. Or a ventilation thing. Uh, Some yeah, light. Yeah, the aircon, more lights. And some charging radiator. units here. Yeah, tra charging. We have USBs, um, and there's a radiator uh, at the back of the bed. That oh, okay, I there. see. Yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, and then here at the end of the bed is our blanket box. So we've got all our bed linen and stuff in there. Wow. Um, oh, I can't think what else we got. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. Will you just look how pretty it is. <laughs> And you have this one. Yeah, oh, so I love that's it. really more for when we don't really need the mosquito nets and we just have yeah. problems with flies and stuff. So. Now we are in malaria land, so we definitely yeah, need anti-mosquito. Okay, I'll see if I can come down here without falling. Would you take my hand, sir? Yes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to have a look in the cab? If you climb in, I'll climb in the other side. Okay, we'll cool. Go. Let's have a look in this B bad boy. Oh, it's comfy, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Like the seat is really. I'm gonna put, my, I'll put this on so you'll see in a minute how the seat's actually working. Okay. Just, this is going to take a couple of minutes. So yeah. Is it then gonna? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll show you that way too. Yeah, my motorcycle does the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for gadgets, we have TomTom -tom that's for specifically for trucks. So it has our dimensions in, so it should keep us safe, uh, no matter where we go. This is a reversing camera, as I say, Charlotte can talk to me and I can hear what she says, which is oh, great. Oh, so she can go out and guide you yeah, yeah. if you need so to park somewhere. Answers, yeah. Like, for example, if she needs to avoid backing into that exactly. beautiful Honda that's yeah. parked right Correct. there. Correct, exactly. <laughs> then here we have a Garmin, which is a similar thing to the TomTom. -tom. It's just a bit more fancy, it's got a lot more um, gadgets on it. Oh really? And why do you have two? Just back up really. Okay. Back up and we use cool. a paper map. I I'm old school, I still have a paper map wherever yeah. we go. And also we can use our photos, you know. Yeah. We can use our phones and tracks for Africa is a great yeah. tool. Um, so no chance of you guys getting lost eh? No. No. <laughs> we have a compass. Uh, okay. just again because I'm old school. We've actually on the yeah. camera. Yeah. No, you cannot hide, Charlotte. We can see you. <laughs> In here we have, I'll just do that, sorry, here we have a, part, what part of this is, we have a, um, a system on here so we can see how we're doing with the truck, so if we're on a slant somewhere we know, if, hopefully we know if we're going to tip over or not, but it's it's a handy tool to have. Yeah. Um, other things on here, we've got a listing of it takes a while to come up with all the campsites in the area. Since you have a home on the wheel, you, you don't always go to the campsites, do you? No, no. I'd say, depending on what country we're in, we spend two or three nights on a campsite and four or five nights while camping. Right. And while camping is our preference for the freedom, really. That is and so cool. As you know, Henrietta, the skies here are stunning. Yeah. And to lay on our bed at night and look up at the stars oh, is just... Wow. Yeah. This is our radio. And Bluetooth up from our phones or whatever. Speakers, uh, same as inside. Speakers over here. Yeah. <gasps> then uh, lots of good storage. Lots of good storage. Yeah. And yeah. what is this for? This is a computer table. Ah, smart. So we can plan or do whatever when we're, when yeah, we're yeah. driving. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a third seat, but we keep it down. Uh, storage. 
lockers Very here. Practical. We have made that I had these made in South Africa. And down there, you can't see it, we have our first aid kit right. and we have a defibrillator uh, in case. Oh, wow, <laughs> that is it, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Or so, maybe you can help someone else. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's just a nice thing to have. We both drive the truck. I'd say I drove more than Charlotte. We do share the driving. Some nice gadgets we have because, again, you know the terrain. We have four wheel drive here. We have diff lock here, so we have back axle, front axle, both axles. So we've got a lot of gadgets at our disposal to get us out of uh, tight situations. This is the Mercedes air conditioning that's very, very good. And above your head, we have a Webasto air conditioning unit as well. Oh, wow. Um, so we have two air conditioning units. But oh, that's amazing. It's just lovely to, to have that. Sort of so not mind. only do they have air conditioning, they also have a fridge with cold beer. <laughs> Which we will be drinking later. I've chosen the wrong vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a beautiful truck. We're absolutely <laughs> in love with it. There's hardly a day goes past when we don't thank our lucky stars because yeah. it's just it is a so, great, great so cool. life. And it's, look at this, to get out of it, it's like, oh! Yeah, you're better off going back this. Yes, I see. So if you're not already following Charlotte and David, then go to Summer Traveling on Instagram, right? Instagram. We do have a website where the blog, where David writes the blog. Oh, right! So you yeah, 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 so we run a website. Oh, so oh. my blog. I love that little truck here. Thank you very much, guys. You are so good to see you guys again. I'm so happy. And we're going to cook together tonight, Definitely. right? Absolutely. But what Definitely. are we going to do? Like what, some pasta with some Yeah, we've got prawns. Some prawns. Prawns. Yeah. prawns. And back. we've got some gin. Oh, my goodness. But so I really hope you enjoyed this video with my uh, sister and my brother from another mother. And uh, hopefully we're going to meet up again because we're kind of going yeah, the same yeah. direction. Yeah. So there are ch good chances. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye. 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 Bye.